What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with I Download Blog. As you can probably tell from my voice, I'm a little excited because a new package is now in Cydia. It allows you to semi-tether jailbreak your iPhone. What this does is it takes a current tethered jailbreak and allows you to reboot your iPhone away from your computer without doing a tether boot and it still comes back up, back to your home screen. You can use your phone, etc. Just add this source to Cydia. It is thebigboss.org slash semi-tethered. So I'm going to type that out here. S-E-M-I... T-E-T-H-E-R. And then that's all you need to add. Just tap add source there. It'll go through its thing. You know, the normal CDS spill it adds all the packages and things like that. Now, what this allows you to do is to, once you install it, reboot your phone. Even though it's a tethered jailbreak, you can reboot. The phone will restart just like normal. And you can use your phone. You can use uh, your mail. And you can use your SMS. So let's just go ahead and return to Cydia. There you'll see a new source. There it is, semi-tether. You can allow a tethered jailbreak to reboot to a non-jailbreak state. It's pretty much that simple. So you're not gonna be able to use Cydia, you're not gonna be able to use all your jailbreak apps and tweaks, and you won't even be able to use Safari, but you can reboot your phone, you can text and all that stuff. So there are some caveats, so make sure you understand that before installing, but this is as close as you'll get to a tethered jailbreak, folks. So let's go ahead and install this here. You see it installs three things, mobile substrate, semi-tether, and substrate safe mode, if you don't have any of those installed already. So I'm configuring semi-tether here now. It's going through. Now it's gonna ask you to reboot the device. And I just wanna make it clear that I don't have anything uh, plugged into my device here. It's just sitting in an empty dock um, with nothing plugged into the dock, of course. So it's actually gonna reboot the phone. Um, as you'll see here, normally this would just loop on the Apple logo here and it would just continue to loop on the Apple logo until you performed a tether boot using Red Snow. So now you'll see that I no longer have to do this. This is actually going to come all the way back up. I'm going to be able to use my phone almost as normal, except I won't be able to use, you know, Safari. I won't be able to use all my favorite Cydia apps and things like that. But all the stock Apple apps, I can use those. So I can at least get my phone back up. As you can see here, it is back up, loaded. I didn't have to do a tether boot, courtesy of Semi Tether. What a great tool to have there. So notice what happens when I try to load up Safari. This is one of the caveats, of course. Safari won't load, but your phone app will load. You know, your text messages will load. The email still reportedly has problems. Of course, your stocks will load. All your default apps are gonna load except for Safari. Now, Cydia will just crash immediately. So you're not gonna be able to use all your favorite jailbreak apps and tweaks and things like that, but at least you can get back and use your phone. You can make a phone call at least. You're not gonna be stuck in traffic or you know stuck with a broke down car uh, and your, your phone crashes and then you can't get it back up to make that all important phone call. So at least you don't have to worry about that. So that's the good news. So all you folks out there waiting for an untethered jailbreak, I heard you loud and clear. This is the next best thing. You want to head over, add this source to your city of sources, and download Semi-Tether. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Are you excited to have this halfway point to an untethered jailbreak? Let me know in the comment section, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.